I won't go any further. That sucked, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this <gasps> is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, you and I had very opposite weekends. Why don't you tell the people about yours? So my weekend was Awful. I was kind of sick. I had some cold sore stuff going on, and then I got my second vac shot, and I was D-E-D dead. How was your weekend? That was my weekend. Jake broke news, credited by the Big J's. People source. Beep, 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 beep. Major League Baseball team changed their Twitter handle to his name, basically. Jake Snakes, America's team. Everyone's talking about it. We met Tori Lovello, who got ejected like the next day. Joe Cool. I was dead. I was dead. I sweated through three different hoodies, barely got off the couch all weekend. So good job by both of us. My dog's had poop stuck to his butt for three days. So have you. Quick draw. Who got it? I think Jake beat me though. I think Jake got it. Damn. Manscaped lawnmower 4.0 quick draw contest. Jake's gonna shave his nose real quick. Oh my God, I lost my voice. They said, Jake, don't shave your nose off. And I said, no deal. Yeah, no snags with the lawnmower 4.0. Man, you went to the Mets game, Jake. You went after the big story line of the weekend for the Mets. Can you tell me a little bit about the sports? Rat, raccoon. We're not sure what we're talking about anymore. My buddy Joey Ponzatanzi was trying to get to the bottom of it. He couldn't find out. We think there was a Mets brawl and they're covering it up with critter jokes, Jim? 100%. I think the Mets <laughs> don't even expect us to believe this if you see the way Lindor is talking about it. It's just like, take a step back. We've got a fake hitting coach. We've got a fake critter fight. Like... Mets fans, I know you don't get happy when Yanks fans say something, but, like, zoom out and then zoom back in. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's just, it's better than saying we fought, and who knows if they actually fought, but there was definitely a big disagreement. It was not a rat versus raccoon, but then I do love the phrase raccoon. Yeah. Lindor's having a lot of fun with it. McNeil in his press conference seems like he's not, not enjoying as much because I think he's like, hey, man, I... I was on the, the bad side of the potential alleged brawl, yeah. and now I'm not even allowed to talk about it. Or maybe that's the spit. Like, maybe Frankie Lindor, Mr. Smile, started it, and now he's doing smiling and making jokes. And <laughs> McNeil's like, dude, you, like, you shoved me. Yeah, my best yeah. guess is, like, Lindor snapped on McNeil because they were fighting over a miscue on a ball, maybe. And then, so now McNeil gets the brunt of that. The new guy comes to town, yeah. shoves him in the, in, the, in the tunnel, and now he's, like, making big laughs out of it about a rat and raccoon. And McNeil's probably like, but this sucks, though. Yeah. If it wasn't Zoom, I think he'd call one of the beat reporters over and be like, can you print what actually happened? Dude shoved me for no reason. <laughs> yeah. No, for now, we'll... we got rat raccoon in the Mets. Winning cures all. Mets won a couple games. How about it? That was bad. You probably weren't in that shot, which is the whole point. Jimbo, this week in almost a breakdown. <laughs> Max Muncy put a ball in play, which in and of itself is weird because he doesn't do that anymore. Puts the ball in play, it goes foul. Mookie Betts has to like kind of duck waddle to get back to the base because he doesn't want to get hit by the ball because then it would be a fair ball, but he wants to make sure he's back on the base in time. So he leaves himself as vulnerable as you could possibly be for a nut tap. And third baseman, Jose Rojas, just gives him a little tag just in case. Gets him right in the nuts. Mookie's an outfielder. He's not wearing a cup. No. So that's it's pretty funny. Everyone laughed. Even Dylan Bundy, your best friend, was just laughing on the mound. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, and let's talk about this. I mean, especially with the ball toner and all this stuff here. There's a lot of misconceptions about the nut slap. I mean, he got hit with a baseball and a glove coming up. Doesn't feel good. No. But it's not the worst case. I mean, obviously, there's a lot sharper or harder things. Nice. Or what always goes overlooked is the flick or the immediate impact like, that one lingers. Like, this was, oh, you hit me in the nuts. That sucked, but I'm okay. But, yeah, if he had his uh, crop preserver from Manscaped, probably would have done just fine. Oh, this is the ball toner. Oh, wow. First time ever used in the hair. Might have to rebrand that as the hair toner. Hair toner. Hey, yeah. you smell like yeah. ball sack. It's actually used somewhere that they want you to get rid of hair. Do it. Just take off all the facial hair for the people. Quick draw. I got him got that, that time. You got me that. I got him that time. There. One to one. I mean, next time, just maybe don't stare at him and go, 
I didn't even look. I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Jake, what else happened in the sports world? More sports, Jim. A follow-up from last week. We now have a running story. Medina Spirit, we were so happy. You're going to have a new horse movie to watch, to go to bed to. He was on the juice, man. Bob Baffert, controversy. He's not going to be able to enter a horse in the next horse race, which is like, well, so many people were betting and won money on the last one, and the horse was cheating, so. Do you tell the horse? Mm -mm. Like Medina Spirit? Mm -mm. Like, as far as Medina Spirit knows, it was in the winner's circle. Horses know when they win the race, obviously. They're the first horse that wins it. And then they they get the accolades and they celebrate and they're in the winter circles. The horses kind of know what's up. Everyone that actually takes care of the horse has been petting him and say, yeah, it's not your fault. Well, as far as the horse is You're concerned, a winner. he won. Like, You're a winner. Well, sorry for Bob Baffert, but it seems like he's a bad guy. <laughs> I was going to say Medina Spirit, sorry, but I don't think Medina Spirit cares. As far as the horse knows, it won. You're a winner, Medina. I don't think you tell the horse. Let's move on to not sports, Jake. What do you got here? James, an Ohio fugitive, sent police a selfie because he didn't like the mugshot. They were circulating to find him. This is actually pretty good because the mugshot does suck. Guy's got like a big old double chin going on. Wonky eyes. So he sent in (laughs) like a smooth pick. Glasses, the mustache is nice. Do we know the crime yet? Because that's yeah, the only yeah, yeah. Part. failed to appear in court after a DUI charge. Okay. And then he he texted it to the cops and said, "Here's a better photo. That one's terrible." And I'm calling a little bit illegal on this guy because the better photo uh, is him hiding half his face with sunglasses. That's tough. The mugshot is your face, not your face with glasses on. Yeah, that's true. So obviously, you look better when you hide those wonky eyes, dude. Damn. Like, put on your glasses. So there's Jake. Now he looks so much better. I swear. They look crooked. They're crooked. Yeah. They're, they're definitely crooked. crooked. Yeah. <laughs> and so is this guy. Ha ha. It's, it's the, the employee, employee of the week. Of the week. Let's go. Oh, I got him again. No, you did I got him again. You got killed. <laughs> is yours even on? <laughs> Zach says I won. Hey, Weekly Dumb. Zach here. I'd like to take a look at this replay because here at the Weekly Dumb, we're not afraid to use replay to get the call correct. As you can see here, both Jimmy and Jake grabbed the lawnmower 4.0 quickly, so we have to take this frame by frame. The big giveaway we're looking for here is the light going on the lawnmower 4.0. Now take a look at Jimmy's. Not yet, not yet, not yet, and on. And you can clearly see Jake's light not here, but here. So clearly Jimmy is the winner, but only slightly. And now back to the episode. Thanks, Mom. We're giving it to our moms. I didn't get to see my mom on Mother's Day. We love you. I didn't either. Because I was sick, and we had we would have had to work anyway. Love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. And everyone else isn't Mom. To all the moms. Wow. Everyone's mom is kind of an employee. You know what we missed, though? Zach did get Employee of the Month for April, so congrats. Congrats. But mostly everyone's mom. Okay. That was a weekly dumb. Support for the Weekly Dumb comes from Manscaped. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. If you're still trimming your face with your ball trimmer, it's time to make some changes. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com.